At one time, Subaru was famous for its quirky engineering. Today, it's famous for this car. On this edition of Test Drive, the WRX. Long admired for its all-wheel drive ability, Subaru's quirky nature turned off many potential customers. It was, for want of a better description, a Japanese Saab. Now, there's nothing wrong with that except it put a crimp in Subaru's true potential. The latest Impreza WRX is a fine example of what happens when sound engineering collides with attractive packaging. The thing that makes this car so quick is its turbocharger. However, a turbocharger without an intercooler is like a dog without a bone. In this case, the air rushes in through the hood scoop and it's directed down through an air-to-air -air intercooler. Now, that intercooler cools the incoming air charge, which allows the turbo to blow a little harder. More air, more fuel, bigger bang, faster car. It's that simple. All of that work really put some serious fire in the WRX's belly. The combination of the turbocharger and intercooler delivers 265 stallions and 244 pound-feet of torque at a user-friendly 4,000 RPM. Needless to say, the WRX is deceptively quick. It runs from rest to 100 kilometers an hour in 5.4 seconds and completes the 80 to 120 move in 4.3 seconds. Both times are very fast and underscore the WRX's rally-bred heritage. Inside the WRX, it's all about the driver and front passenger. Great seats that really do keep you planted when you play. You'll also find all the mod cons. Bluetooth, Bluetooth streaming audio, an MP3 plug-in. This time around, slightly nicer dials in the instrumentation and a darker overall finish, which adds a little more class. The other thing, the ergonomics are first rate. There is, however, one thing missing. This thing has a turbo under the hood, but there's no boost gauge in here. There should be. The test car's grunt was relayed to the road through a five-speed manual transmission. As manuals go, it's a pretty good one. The gate is well-defined, the throws are short, and the clutch bites in the right place. If there is a wish, it would be for a sixth gear. From the transmission, the power is fed to all four wheels via a viscous coupling. It's a part of Subaru's terrific symmetrical all-wheel drive system. As everything is laid out along the longitudinal centerline of the car, the whole lot is balanced, and so there are no vices whatsoever. Notably, there is absolutely no torque steer, regardless of how hard you stand on the gas pedal. The back end of this WRX has been well thought through. Plenty of headroom, decent legroom, and 60-40 split folding rear seats. Now, these things do fold fairly flat with the floor. Now, if you move to the back of the sedan, you get 320 litres of cargo space with the seats in the upright position. If you decide to go with the hatchback, you obviously get more versatility, but you also get a little more trunk space. 538 litres with the seats up, and 1257 with them folded flat. The WRX's other forte is found in its handling characteristics. The stiff chassis, sporty suspension and 225-45R17 tyres, tame body roll and limit understeer. The unspoken bonus is that the symmetrical layout of the powertrain brings much better overall balance. As a package, the WRX trashed the pylon test. If the driver does manage to venture beyond the WRX's considerable limits, there is of course an electronic nanny waiting to right the driver is wrong. The final part of the dynamic equation is the anti-lock brake system. With stopping distances that measure just 39 meters from 100k, the stopping power is exceptional and it remains fade free after several full-on stops. So there you have it, the WRX is a very nice car. Great handling, very good all-wheel drive, nice interior and plenty of power. For most people, this car will be enough. However, if enough is never quite enough, there's always the STI. Regardless, these cars represent one of the best bangs for your hard-earned buck you'll find.